Hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about how to format floating point values or basically how to format floats. All right, so sometimes when we divide float, when we have division with floats or floating point values, sometimes we may end up with values like, you know, values, you know, th that are long, long floating point um, answers or values or result. Um, we can get something like, for example, we may do a division or have a division and get a result like, um, 24.87526. We may have long floating point values. It doesn't even have to be just floating point values. It, it could be a regular division of, let's say, an int and a floating point value. But the answer could be a long floating point value. And sometimes you may wish to format it to, let's say, a certain number of decimal places. You may wish to format it to two decimal places or three decimal places or ten, sorry, or six decimal places, how, or whatever you want. You may wish to do that. Um, and Python gives us the ability to do that. It gives us a function called format that we can use to do that. Remember, a function, well, well before that, we'll get into functions, so don't worry. But a function, you know, briefly, is basically one or more lines of code that is grouped together and given a name. And any time that name is used, or the, term, the actual term is, any time that name is called, that uh, uh, the lines, the series of code, whether it's one or multiple, it gets they get executed okay that line of code or the multiple lines of code get executed so that function that Python gives us to format numbers is called format okay the word format so assuming you're um, you're, you're a family of five five people right so let's say number of people let's create a variable called number of people and then let's initialize initialize it to five people and assuming you're a family of five and your your parent or your father comes to the house and, say, and says, okay, today I have a gift for all of you. I have a certain amount of money, but then you, all, all five of you have to share it. So let's create a variable called amount of money. And let's put in, let's say, $13,423, right? So the, your dad says, okay, among the five of you, share for uh, $13,423. And so, the amount that each person is going to get, let's create a variable to store that amount each person, uh, amount each amount for each person. Let's let's call it that amount for each person. So amount for each person is going to be equal to the way we find it is we divide thirteen thousand four hundred, which is the amount of money. Okay, so which is the amount of money? We divide it by the number of people, right? number of people and that's going to be our answer so number of people that's how much each person is going to get so when we create when we call the print function and we display what's stored in amount for each person we should expect how much each person is going to get right let's run this and <laughs> this answer actually is not good for what I want to explain so let's change it to let's say six people let's say there are six people Let's divide the amount of money by six people. We are sharing it to, let's say, we are family of, of se family of six. Let's change that. Now we are divi dividing the amount by six people, right? So let's run this. Perfect. All right, so now we've done the division, but each person is going to get $2,237.166. This is a long number, and sometimes we may want to format it, right? Let's say we may, we may want to format it to only two decimal places, okay? And so the way we'll do that is with the format function. All right, so let's not print this first. Let's remove that. Let's format it first. And the format function, okay, you call, we, we, we use a name, format. Now, formats sometimes need extra information to be able to do what they do. Now, the format function needs, first of all, well, it takes in a couple of arguments. The, the things that it needs to basically work with is called argument. Again, we'll talk more about functions. But this function needs a couple of things. It needs, first of all, what you want to format. I'm going to give it to the function, the formats function. It needs that's an argument. So I'm going to pass the process of giving it, given that thing to the to the formats function is called passing arguments. The thing we call an argument, the process of giving it to it we call it passing an argument. So basically, we are passing an argument into the function. We'll talk more about functions, so don't worry. It takes first of all what you want to format. In this case, we want to format the amount for each person, this entire amount. We want to format it you know, to a certain number of decimal places, or you know, we want to format it in a certain way. So it takes what you want to format, which is the amount for each person. That's what we want to format. And then I'm going to put a comma here. It's because it takes multiple arguments, I'm going to separate each argument with a comma. So this is one argument. 
the next thing it, it takes it needs is first of all it's going to ask you how do you want this number here f formatted how, how much uh, how, how do you want the, yeah, this value here formatted how do you want it formatted so the second thing it needs the thing second thing the format function needs is what's called a format specifier something to specify how this number should be formatted and so that's what the format function takes what you first first of all what you want to format and the second is how you want it form formatted. You have to tell it these things. All right, so it goes in double quotations, or it can go in single quotations. I like to use double quotations. All right, so I'm going to type in point 0.2. Now, this point 0.2 here is what's called the, the precision, all right? This is how many decimal places I want to round this number to. Okay, so I'm, I'm saying point 0.2. If I wanted, wanted it rounded to three decimal places, I would say point 0.3. If I wanted to run, run it to five decimal places, I'd say 0 0.5, okay, together. If I wanted, now I wanted to run it to two decimal places, so I'll change it back to 0 0.2. Also, I'm going to type in an F. This F here stands for the data type of this value, okay. So the amount that I'm trying to format, okay, I want it formatted in a float, or basically, I'm formatting this value to a float, okay. I want it this this formatted. Once you're done formatting it, I want this value to be a float. Okay, this value is a floating point value, and I want it formatted that way. Okay, so I'm formatting this value, okay, as a float. Formatted as a float to do is more places for me. So basically, that's that's all I'm saying with this. I'm saying take this number, format it as a float to two the small places. Okay, and the type goes after the precision, the precision here. So this is the pres oops, this is the precision here, and then the type goes after it. All right. So once it's once you've given it these two information, um, or basically yeah, these two details, it's going to format this number okay as a float to, to two decimal places. And when it's done, it's going to give you back a string. A string actually, it's not going to give you. It's going to give you. It's not, it's not going to give you a number or anything. It's going. To, I mean, I, when I'm, when I say uh -huh. that it's going, not, going, not going to give you a number, I'm talking about in terms of data type. So it's it's, it's going to pa send back to you a string. It's going to return or send back to you. A string. The process of it giving you stuff. Okay, the, the, the process. I get confused by the message over here. Sorry. The process of it sending it back to you information is called returning you returning to you information. All right. So again, don't go, don't don't get too confused. We'll talk more about functions. So you give it to information. It converted. It, sorry. It formats it and then it sends back to you the result. Okay. It returns to your result. And when it's returning that to you, you need a place to store it. Okay, it's returning, remember, it's returning a string, though. Keep in mind that. And so I need a place to store it, so I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it formatted, it's going to be a long name, formatted amount for each person. If you watch uh, my videos, you'd realize that I like, you realize that I, li I like using long names for my variables. For me personally, it's perfect. You know, it doesn't affect your code. It doesn't, you know, stop your code from working. For me, it makes sense when I name them long. Um, when I'm reading through my code, I kind of know exactly what variable is. But you can name it how, wh whatever you want. You can name it short names. You can give it long names. It depends on you. So this is the formatted amount for each person. Okay, I formatted it to two decimal places as a float. The format function has done that for me, and it's returning it to me. And so now when I'm done. And I print out not just the amount for each person. I'm printing out the formatted amount for each person. I'm going to pass that to the print function. When I run that, you can see that same amount has been formatted to two decimal places, and it was even rounded. All right. Let me change this back to the amount for each person. Let's print the amount for each person. The amount for each person. When I run this now, it's Two two three seven point one six 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 six. But because we rounded to two small places, or because we formatted it to two to small places, it rounded up the six. Because of the six, it rounded up to seven. And that's why when we print out the formatted amount for each person here, and we run it, it says two two three seven point one seven. All right. So we will talk more about the format function. But this is how you would format um, values as floating point. Um, um, values as floating point uh, data to let's say a certain number of decimal places again so we'll talk more about it um, and you know you know we'll get used to the format function we'll, we'll convert other things or we'll format other things to, to different data types and so on and so forth all right
I know I talk quite a bit. I talked quite a bit here because I, I know I like talking. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to, res to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.